We're moving in lock, stock, and barrel. We're gonna be in a pool. We're gonna be in a clubhouse. We're gonna be all over that shuffleboard court. And I dare you to keep me out! <laughs> Despite being one of the most memorable characters, Frank Costanza only appeared in 26 episodes. And one episode that really could have used his help is the kiss hello. To avoid telling Elaine's friend she has a bad haircut, Jerry and Elaine hope Kramer will set her straight. No, I really like that hairdo. They could have got another fan favorite to give a reality check. The best cook Uncle Sam ever saw, the king of Festivus, Frank Costanza. His constant airing of grievances is part of what made him such an enjoyable character. What the hell did you trade Jay Buna for? <laughs> he had 30 home runs and over 100 RBIs last year. He's got a rocket for an arm. You don't know what the hell you're doing. How could you give $12 million to Hideki Arabo? A man that could give Steinbrenner hell for his atrocious deals would certainly tell someone about a bad haircut. While the writing made Frank a classic sitcom character, it's Jerry Stiller's performance that truly helps mold the character, and by extension, George as well. George, Festivus is your heritage. It's part of who you are. That's why I hate it. It's common knowledge that Jerry Stiller wasn't the original actor of Frank, and since they refilmed those scenes with Jerry, there's a good point of comparison. Instead of John Randolph's traditional, more subdued approach, Stiller brought an iconic cadence to the table. And if you need any proof of how Stiller's acting informed both character and story, look no further than the understudy. He was a very unusual man. <laughs> Quick-tempered with a strange, halting way of speaking. Would you believe when I was 18, I had a silver dollar collection? But as Jason Alexander described, his on-screen father's voice was not originally on purpose. He would come into every scene not quite sure if he knew what the hell he was doing. And the lines would come back to him in little stutter steps. So they would come out in little stutter steps, and what you were seeing was his growing anxiety and frustration with his own memory that got translated into the just disdain for the world that Frank Costanza had. And Frank's legacy stretched beyond the Seinfeld world. Kevin James specifically wanted Jerry Stiller to come on to King of Queens as Arthur. The essence of the short-tempered Frank Costanza lived on for another nine seasons. Sal's, have you lost your mind? <laughs> okay, not Sal's, and from where? A little neighborhood joint called Domino's. <laughs> Dominoes? <laughs> yeah, that's it. There's little separation between these two alter egos of the legend Jerry Stiller. Two absolute icons cut from the same cloth. Thanks, Jerry. Kasha? <laughs>